six months to convince uh, a panel of engineers uh, that the Industrial Research Institute called in. They called in consulting engineers, they called in economists, uh, they called in some sociologists and uh, we presented our <coughs> fairly detailed report to them, answered a whole series of questions over a number of meetings and finally the, the consensus was that uh, the Flinders car was worth a try. We've had letters from all over the world, from Japan, from the USA, from Europe, from right throughout Asia, from uh, Thailand, from, uh, uh, we've had them from even from West Africa. We've had sort of interest in this car, I think, everywhere, which um, sort of shows in one sense a need for a viable car, and that certainly surprised us. The Flinders University electric car is an experiment an attempt to overcome the problems which have made other electric cars unsuitable for everyday use. Its success or failure depends on how well the problems are solved. And this rests with Don Atkinson and the other members of his research team. When we decided to um, build a car, then the enthusiasts, I mean the whole group decided that we'd have a car, and then it was the people with the ideas and the enthusiasm, they came forward. I mean, Darrell Whitford, uh, uh, his ideas finally won the day in convincing people that they were the best ways to assemble components. When we looked at uh, nearly all the electric cars available in the world, we found that they didn't meet the requirements which is required of them today. So that we looked at perhaps another way of building a car to overcome these problems. What was wrong with the other electric cars that were being made around the world? Two basic reasons, I think. One is the fact that they tend to be very heavy for their size. This is mainly because the only viable source of stored energy is the lead acid accumulator. And also the fact that when they were used in uh, urban conditions where you experience a lot of stop starts per mile accelerating to a reasonably high speed in between, the range was so low that uh, they were virtually useless to most people. Another man had ideas about building a body, a light body to put into the car. And so the thing was very fortunate it came together uh, basically from people on the staff, although we have recruited one man from outside since it started. This is a commuter car. It's a car to use in the cities to do 50 and 60 mile and start stop traffic. So one of the first things that you've got to consider is, the, is all the drag factors. The wind which is very important. The shape of the car is terribly important in an electric car. Uh, because wind resistance is a very big factor in, in holding back any car. Uh, the weight is terribly important. You've got a uh, factor that's about 15 pound per thousand pound of weight drag in any, in any car. 